And the best profitable use cases for AI agents is when you are interacting with a AI automation in a chat format. When does it make sense for the user to interact with the agent through a chat, through Slack, through Gmail, through Telegram, or through WhatsApp, or through a website chat bot for support? If the user could more easily interface with your AI automation through a UI, like the Gmail app, because they're sitting at their desktop and it's just much easier to send an email or search or filter or do whatever they need to do because they have a mouse and a keyboard, then do not use an agent in that case, at least a tool-based agent. In a case like that, you'd be much better off using a more simple automation that is more deterministic. It has a more consistent flow from left to right to solve the problem than having to interface with language figuring out what the language means, what tool to use. If I'm on my computer and I'm managing all my content like I do in Airtable, it's much easier for me to manage a bunch of YouTube videos and their status and moving them around from status to status than it would be to set up some sort of chat bot in Slack to say, hey, can you move C6722 to record? And then can you move C6260 to record as well? That would take me longer than just coming to the interface and moving them. You don't want to just force someone to use a chat interface when they could more easily use a traditional interface like Airtable or Gmail to get the job done. Now, if you want to become an expert at AI agents and AI automation, make sure to jump into the No Code Architects community. It's a thriving group. You can get tech support, access to beginner courses to get you going, access to all my automation templates for content systems, social media, faceless videos, AI agents. I've got a business clarity course to help you build your AI automation business. I do live builds and workshops to show you how to think just like I am in this video here. We have different prizes that you can win just by collaborating with the group. It's an awesome group. I hope to see you there, but either way, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.